One of the things I love about drumming is that uh, in my time of drumming, I've learned so much how to be with the uh, feelings, emotions, and uh, thoughts, and my surroundings. Uh, I notice that when I'm uh, the most laid back inside myself, I have uh, most ability to respond in a, uh, let's say, in a nice way to situations, any situation that is showing up, basically. So, when I'm drumming, uh, this shows up in the music, right? So, I have people I'm playing with and they are basically talking to me when they're playing their instruments. They're saying all kinds of different things and the beauty, beauty about music is that it, it's a deeper... Uh, deeper... <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of like a deeper language than words. Words are very good at pointing at things. Music doesn't do that. We communicate through music, but it doesn't really point to at the same degree as words point. And there is a beauty in that. Uh, the difficult part is to tell uh, someone, for example, um, uh, which way to go to find the, the music store or um, how to cook a meal. You know, uh, you, co you, you uh, communicate something differently. When you play music, you communicate through feelings. So, why do you love? your favorite musicians or your favorite songs. It's because the feeling they gave you. Now, to play music, some of us think that it, it has to be um, very beautiful or I have to be very good as a musician to play so that other people will uh, think, oh, he's so talented. And that will make me a successful musician. But, I'm here to tell you that it's not that. It's about how much can you make people feel. And making people feel is often easier the more simple you play. depending on what we want to express, of course. Now, here's another interesting thing that music taught me is that if I have an agenda that, oh, I want to um, say this, or I want to play this, or I want to con convey this feeling, then it doesn't always happen. So many times when I've been teaching drumming, I say, okay, let's do this, and we start playing, and I notice it's not that, but what we're doing is, is perfect, so whatever I just said, we can just throw it in the trash can and just enjoy uh, what we're doing right now. And so, so there, there is the beauty to let go of what you have said or thought. If you're ready to let go of what you said or what you thought, then you're free. Then you can just enjoy that playing, whatever, whatever instrument you're playing, you can just enjoy that. And, what, when you make a sound, just listen to that sound and go from there. So music is really an exploration of this moment as it unfolds. And if someone is, is playing really soft, you, 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 get, you understand that, ah, oh, to be with this person as this person plays, I also play soft. And then uh, if that person starts to play louder, it's not like, if you think, but weren't we supposed to play soft? Then you already lost the present moment. So then you also play stronger. The piano plays stronger, you play stronger if you play drums or guitar or whatever. It's, and then you together, like let's say one person starts louder and then the other person goes on and then this person realize that this person went to the same level and then they can go up together and it creates such a nice vibe when you go in the same direction 
uh, without saying, okay, let's do this. We decide on doing this. It's, it's a beauty there. And this beauty I find in uh, so many areas in life. Uh, I experience it most in music, but um, it's there all the time, this connection between us. So I would really love for us all to uh, be courageous enough to take up an instrument and play and be very playful with the, uh, the present moment and the gifts that comes when we're just listening. So listening is a great tool for the present moment and the gifts that are given there. So if you're interested in diving deep into this with the drum, exploring how we can respond gentle and express our feelings and be part of the uh, creation, the mysterious creation of music. It's really beautiful. I love it. And I want to share that with you. So I'm having a workshop next week. I will do more workshops in Stockholm and Sweden in the future. Uh, let's see, it's uh, very changing times. So, and I will also do my best to share this online. So uh, if you feel called for it, I'm here to do my best to help you. And if I can do something for you, let me know. So I will finish with a little uh, beautiful prayer on my drum here. I read a Facebook post just now. Uh, what we can do in these times, it was a long post, I just scrolled down to the last part. What you can do, it said, is pray. And what is prayer? For me, prayer is uh, closing my eyes, seeing my inside, and and like it's like putting a hand on my friend's shoulder, like whoosh, take a deep breath. You can relax. It's fine, okay? You can't know what's gonna happen, so just whoosh, relax, let it happen, and find a way to respond gently. It's, it's kind of the same way I approach music. So, so here's a prayer, if you will, for you.
Thank you for listening to my words and to my fingers and to my beloved. This is uh, my beloved's drum, Sharada is her name, and this is her drum. And she lets me play it, so I'm so grateful. Thank you, darling. I wish you a great day, enjoy it, and uh, put an inner hand on your shoulder and breathe and we'll get through these times together. <laughs>